Today's question comes from Bob in Somerville, Massachusetts. Bob asks, I'm interested in finding out how Google currently views subdomains, whether there's any difference between a site structured as a group of subdomains and one structured as a group of subdirectories. Um, we've answered a bunch of questions about subdomain, subdomains and subdirectories before, but it's, it's been a while, so it seems fine to revisit it. They're roughly equivalent. I would basically go with whichever one is easier for you in terms of configuration, your CMSs, all that sort of stuff. So let's use MacCuts.com as an example. I have MacCuts.com slash blog because it was just easier to put stuff in a subdirectory. I don't have to have a DNS subdomain. I don't have to worry about moving it around. If I move domains, I don't have to worry about losing that subdomain. But it might be easier for some people to do a subdomain. Or maybe you want to have your blog powered by some completely different product you know, WordPress VIP or Tumblr or, or whatever, and so you want to have that on a separate C name, and that's totally fine as well. The historical context is we used to crowd by what we would call host, where a host is, is basically a subdomain, and we would only allow two results from each host. And in that situation, it might make sense to have more subdomains because you could get two results from one host name and then two results from another subdomain and just repeat that. And what we did is we saw that people would abuse that, and they would they would make a whole bunch of subdomains so that they could get more and more results on the page. And so we changed our scoring such that now we're more likely to squunch those together. That's the technical term, to squunch them together. So in order to ensure diversity, we say, okay, well, the first two, three results, that might make more sense, but maybe it's a little harder for that third or fourth or fifth result to show up from a, from a given domain, not just from a subdomain. So the, the historical reasons why you might have wanted to go for a subdomain don't really apply as much, and that leaves you with, okay, both are on the same domain overall, and so it's really a question of which one is easier for you. Um, whichever one makes you happier, I'd go ahead and do it that way.